in your current role, you're the head of Uplands, but you also spend, on average, two days a week on school improvement yeah. or working as an Ofsted inspector. Right. Um, and yet the school is outstanding and you've won the TES School of the Year. How do you manage your time to be so effective on that three day a week? Well, partly those, if we come back to the, the two other things that I do, mean that I'm out in schools, other schools, quite a bit. Now, if I wasn't bringing anything back from those other schools, yeah, it'd be a waste of time, wouldn't it? You'd say. But I get enormously, I get enormous uh, amount of ideas from visiting other schools. Um, because even if a school is requires improvement, there are also there are always wonderful things that happens there as well. I've not been into a school where there, where you haven't seen something that you can bring back. Right? So actually, a school gains enormously from its staff going out to schools. Um, as long as the members of staff who go out to schools uh, are quite reflective. Right? So I, I go out to a lot of mainstream schools as well as special schools uh, and I think I can bring things back from any type of school. But you need to be quite reflective. You know? So how would that, that practice clearly working there? Could it work in our school? Maybe if I did it this way or, or change the personnel that do it, actually it could work. Um, and what we've got is, is we've got, uh, when I have my leadership meetings, so for, for instance, last leadership meeting, I was out for quite a period of time before that in other schools, and so was another member of my leadership team. And on the agenda was what we learn from being out. And we both were able to, to say, actually, I saw this, and I, you know, this is what I saw. Um, We've always, what is so wonderful about this school is we're always looking for ways to improve. You have to, don't you? Um, you know, if you think that I've got over 100 members, 170 members of staff, I've got over 130 kids, I've got double the amount of parents. If you're working with adults constantly, if you're working with people constantly, you have to change. People don't stay still. You have to change. So as an organisation, we're constantly changing. Now, but we want, want lots and lots and lots of change. So we have to make sure, we have to be strategic, and that's where the most strategic planning comes in, is what elements of change do we want to bring in and how are we going to do it to ensure that people are not overloaded. That, that's, I'll come back to that point is that actually the teachers in the school need to be able to teach. They need to be given the time to plan effectively, resource effectively, get to know their students and their staff and teach. And that's what we hold fast to. We, we try not to bring anything that comes that, that will add to that, uh, that will change that. Um, so when we go out and when we see things, uh, it's about saying, actually, that would be good, but let's just put it on a back burner for now. Uh, actually, this would really support what we're trying to do with assessment. So how can we bring that in? So that's the first thing, is that uh, going out for two days a week does not mean to say that uh, actually I'm not bringing anything back into the school. Uh, the other obvious answer to it is of course we've got a leadership team so we always look at actually if I'm out or if someone else is out how can we make sure that, um, that the school is fully supported? What can we do? And, it, and we come back to the idea of Everybody in the school is a leader, everybody. So it's about uh, making sure that the responsibilities are fully covered. And, and people like doing different things in this school, which lucky, because <laughs> that's what they've been doing for God knows how long. They like taking on responsibilities. They like doing different things. We like to kind of shift around posts so that people actually get a full understanding of what the school is like and how it works. Um, so it's making sure that if I'm out, we've got people that can do the work. Um, if I left the school, I would want to. I'd want to know that it would be in just as good a position as if I were out of the school. To be quite honest, um, and and so that's what we're training our middle leaders and senior leaders to do. And we're fortunate that we have got the staff. You know, even we're looking at the junior levels coming up that will make fabulous. Uh, senior leaders 
in a few years' time. Really, really good. I've also got a really good governing body, I have to say, and they're in here every week, constantly sitting, sitting down, having a cup of tea, coffee, and constantly saying, what are we doing to promote people? What are we doing to bring people on? Um, are you sure that being out is not having an impact on the school? Uh, so, you know, kind of that's, that's, that's the way we do it. 